a little bit about the projects we saw in your segment. Okay. Gorgeous tablescape, a beautiful hanging feature. We're going to show you how you can make that right now. Yes. Using these gorgeous faux flowers that you got from the craft shop. Exactly. The dollar store. Yeah, and you just get, um, I think they're embroidery hoops, and you yeah. just take off. This is the outside one, so you use the inside hoop to tie your flowers. Okay. And my very scientific way of making sure they're all the same height is I hold it with one hand so that it's touching the table. Oh, that's what you do. And then, here, I'll do this one because it's the right color. And then I just wrap, um, it's this stuff that we don't know what it's called. Yeah, I'm going to tell like, you now. It's called Stretch Magic. It's, stretch it, Magic. Yeah. Bead it's and jewelry, jewelry cord. cord. So it ties really easily, and it's a little. It's got a little bit of give and a little bit of stretch to it. Okay. You want to cut it too long, otherwise it's just a pain to tie, to be honest with right. you. Right. And then once the other ones are held at the right height, then you're automatically going to have them all at the same level because symmetry is very, very... Very important oh, it's today. very important. Do you get your boys to help you with any of this stuff, or does it get a little bit? It's a little bit too tedious. Um, I can what? see them jumping in there and they, helping you they out. They love to help. They yeah. do. They get crafty. Yeah. They watch decorating shows with me. They do all that sort oh, of thing with sweet. me. It's pretty adorable. And then you just space them out. Keep adding more until you've filled the whole hoop. Okay. Right. And then you take that outside hoop. Uh huh. And then that just kind of helps keep the strings secured as well. Oh, smart. Yeah. And then you just so you've got the double. You've got a, d a double hoop there, and then exactly. you figure out a way to secure it to the uh, to the top. See I that? Think, There's yeah. the double hoop, and it goes like that. It's very easy, and I think That's you nice. could use twine, you could use ribbon. There's so yep. many different ways you could suspend that from the ceiling, and it's not heavy at all. No. So, I mean, you could even tack it to the ceiling of a bedroom or something and That's not have true. to worry about it falling down or very causing pretty. any damage or anything. So now we're going to make this wreath. Well, um, yes, yeah. I mean... Floral wreaths can get crazy expensive. Absolutely. You know, especially the faux ones. I've seen them well over $100. Yeah. So this one's probably maybe more like, I don't know, maybe $30? $30. I think about $30. Homemade. Yeah. Homemade. Which yeah. is really nice. Exactly. So you can go to a craft store and get wreath shapes in a ton of different sizes. Mm -hmm. So this one I really like because it's got all of these kind of wiry bits on it that will attach things to. And then you just go again to your craft store and you buy floral garland. Yeah. I kind of like it all one color. I like it simple, I like it plain. It makes it feel a little bit more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I agree. all you do, and it's not gonna look super pretty when I do it right now, but you just, it takes a little zhuzhing. You just kind of wrap, just it, wrap around, it around. And, I and find, then you just keep adding. Exactly, I find if you do it with two mm -hmm. garlands. You have enough heft there, you right? Have enough. The other thing I would say when you're getting these rings, make sure these little twiny things are some kind of a natural color. Absolutely. Because if this is bright white, forget it. The whole project's downhill. At least this looks natural. It looks like this is, you know, like exactly. just some, some vines, some stems, right? Well, yeah, and you can get floral wire for this project, too. If your you wreath can. shape doesn't have that, then totally. you just... And you just wrap it, and oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, my God, it's so <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, my gosh, yeah. This is the proper one. 